We all know the value of rain. Without it, life on Earth wouldn't exist. It's a powerful element in nature that can be devastating if we get too much, or not enough. Throughout history, as societies developed, man has witnessed the harmful effects that come from being out of sync with Mother Nature. What can we do? Our efforts don't need to be complicated or on a grand scale to help balance the scale between modern society and nature. Harvesting rain in a rain barrel is an example of a simplistic act that yields big rewards for the environment and your pocketbook. Water collected in the rain barrel would normally flow through your downspout, onto a paved surface, and eventually into a storm drain. So you have algae blooms in the Chesapeake, and we say to ourselves, well, what has that got to do with me? That's the water coming off your roof, rushing across your lawn, and carrying those chemicals in to feed that algae. So we wanted to try to do whatever we could to keep that water from going out off our property and to use it here. Well, there are many benefits of rain barrels. Um, everything from saving water and saving money for your own pocketbook, uh, as well as helping to protect our streams. You know, as we have more and more impervious surfaces, more development, more rooftops, more parking lots, um, one impact on our streams is that you have all of this water rushing to the stream every time it rains very, very quickly. And rain barrels help keep that water closer to the, the where it falls. Well, we have, you know, typical Northern Virginia house with, you know, a lot of different roof lines. You know how they all go. Um, and the roof that actually drains to our rain barrels is 527 square feet, which is actually, because it's a big house, it's almost half the size of, a, of an average American home. So that'll give you a sense of what, what we're dealing with here in terms of the averages. From that 527 square feet, two downspouts run off the roof. In an average year in the town of Herndon, which is where we live, um, we'll have rainfall of about 40 and a half inches. And that 40 and a half inches of rain will generate on our 527 square foot roof over 13,000 gallons of water which divided between the two downspouts is about 6,600 gallons of water going down into our rain barrels. Rain barrels can be constructed in a number of ways, but they all serve the same purpose, to collect rainwater and decrease the amount of stormwater runoff that leaves your property. The good news is that rain barrels are inexpensive, easy to install, and easy to operate and maintain. The way we set up the rain barrels is the gutter comes down to this downspout. And what we've added here is called a downspout diverter, this little green box. And it's a very simple process. You just cut the downspout, install the diverter up on the side of the house, and then reattach the bottom of the downspout from below the diverter. And I'll explain why. The rainfall comes down the downspout. It begins to fill up the diverter. And when it gets to a certain level, the water goes down this hose and into the rain barrel. Once the rain barrel is full, the water won't flow down this hose anymore, and then this, the diverter fills to the point where the water now starts to go down the rest of the downspout, and we've attached that into a French drain that um, actually disperses the water out into the backyard. So it's a very simple system, very easy to install, but it's also very effective. It takes all the rainwater away from the house um, except for what we choose to keep in the rain barrel. This is the original pickle barrel top that um, we cut out this uh, center portion and replace it with just a square of fiberglass screen, the, the kind of screen that you could get at any hardware store. And what that does is it keeps debris like little bits of leaf and you know oak pollen out of it and it also keeps uh, mosquitoes and other insects from getting into the rain barrel and laying eggs in the water in the rain barrel. So it keeps your water free of a lot of the debris that might end up in it. Well, the most important thing is you don't want to be using it to drink. You know, it's, it is just what falls from the sky, um, so that water hasn't been treated at all. But they are absolutely safe for your lawn and for your general plants, flowers, things like that. Ready-made rain barrels can be purchased from local suppliers or built with a few simple tools and supplies. 
Generally, a rain barrel is made using a 55-gallon drum, a vinyl garden hose, PVC couplings, a screen grate to remove debris and keep insects out, and other materials found in most hardware stores. The Northern Virginia Soil and Water Conservation District, in partnership with Fairfax County, holds Build Your Own Rain Barrel Workshops. Registration is required and closes one week prior to the event. The materials fee per barrel is $50 for Build Your Own Workshops and $60 per barrel at distribution events. For a complete list of events this summer and fall, visit the county's website at fairfaxcounty.gov slash nbswcd slash rainbarrels.htm or call 703-324-5500, TTY 711.